Hey everybody, it's Rob Jackson. I'm here looking at my inbox, which is embarrassing. I've got 37,000 plus emails that are unread. I've been in my inbox all day and it's still a disaster of billions of things to do. So I'm sure other people's inboxes like this, but this video is really for two sets of people. First of all, people running a website or multiple websites that have a writing team or contributors behind them. Second of all is for the contributors themselves, and this is probably most important because these are people whose full-time job isn't to work on the website. They're contributing, and that may be once a week, twice a week, once a month, whatever it is. But um, as, a team of as a team of contributors, there's going to be daily conversation and communication if the website's going to be successful. But when you've already got an inbox full of personal email, full of business email, full of random stuff, having that extra stream of website type communications coming in can really put you over the point of, you know, I don't even want to do this. It's too much work for me. Sometimes an alternative is to create a secondary email account, which would be you know, a Yahoo account or someone else, some other account where they can, you know, open up a different inbox when they're ready to work for the site. That's a bad idea because if you cannot manage your own inbox, you're pretty much using that second inbox as like a spam folder of sorts. They're not going to check it as often. They're going to forget about it. And it's like back burner. It's not top of mind. Instead, what we're going to do is use Gmail's features to help organize ourselves. So really, over on the left here, are these things called labels. You can make a label for anything you want to. So right here we can see contact at fandroid.com. That's a great example. Say this is all polluting my inbox. We want all contact at fandroid.com stuff out of here. Here's what we do. We go to settings in our Gmail and we go to filters. So we can create rules to automatically send emails to this left side here. So for us, any email from contact at fandroid.com is going to be part of our filter. You could also, if you have a secondary email, you know, say I have emails getting sent to rob at fandroid.com into my Gmail, I could use that. I could make sure that, you know, some contact forms let you force the certain subject. So you could put the subject in there. Then everything coming from that contact form will go into your label or filter over here. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways you can do. Uh, you can filter things. You could only put attachments somewhere. Then we can create the filter. So everything from contact at fandroid.com is going to hit these rules. It's going to skip the inbox, which means it will never show up here. It'll only show up in this list on the left. We don't want to mark it as red. We don't want to start it. We do want to apply a label to it. And we'll create a new label called Fandroid. And this is important. You need to do this um, because it won't show up in this left-hand side unless you add that label for it. So now you can see it just popped up over here. Um, we don't want to forward it or delete it. We do want to make sure it never goes into our spam folder. And that's about it. Now, I'm not going to do this here, but say that we've already been irritated by 115 of these contact at Fandroid emails. We can make it so all those past emails will automatically get dumped into our Fandroid label and will not appear in our inbox. So you're basically cleaning your inbox of these, you know, site related emails and putting them in this nice little secondary email account almost over here. We're not going to do that though. So let's go ahead and create filter. And there we go. So now anything that comes into our inbox from contact at fandroid.com will show up in fan and let's just test this real quick. So let's go to fandroid and hit up the contact form. And we're going to contact because we're it's general other. My name is Rob Jackson. My email is robjackson81 at yahoo.com. My website, don't have one. I'm testing 
if these filters properly work. And then type in this message right here. And let's give it a whirl. One moment, your message has been received. Thank you. Let's go back to our inbox and see how long it takes. And you can see right now, look on the right, we see Fandroid 1. Nothing in our inbox. But these contact messages are now always going to be filed on the left here. So I can see, oh, I got a new Fandroid email, even though it's not bothering my general flow of stuff. So go ahead and, oh, here's my new uh, email for Fandroid. And there it is. So this is a great way to effectively manage your inbox and essentially set up separate email accounts for different projects or groups or organizations you're a part of without having to set up a completely new email address or without having to mess up the flow of your personal life or your business life. And this is a great way to also separate, you know, friends stuff, family stuff. There's so many things you can do with these filters when you're talking about all the different settings that it allows you for, you know, applying stars and not going to spam and automatically forwarding stuff. So really, I urge you to take a closer look at the options in the Gmail settings. I clearly need to get things organized myself. Um, and hopefully, in the near future, my inbox and your inbox will be working super smooth. So hope this has helped at least a little bit. And yeah, curious to see how this works out for you or if you have Gmail and email organization tips of your own. Thanks for watching.